Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel or welcome to our channel if you're new here. In today's video we'll be showing you how to make a delicious pepper bake. Now pepper bake is a kind of dense sort of bread that has a lot of spices and of course hence its name it has some pepper in it to make it a little spicy. It's really great to have with cheese, meat, it's a really great for breakfast snacks as well. So in Trinidad they call this a pepper bake but this is also referred to as a pot bake in Guyana. So if if you'd like to see how to make this delicious pepper bake in the oven, then please keep on watching. Alright, so let's start off with your ingredients. You're going to need two cups of flour to start off. You'll then need your seasoning. So you can use any seasonings that you'd like for this. We're going to use dried parsley, oregano, and pepper flakes. Kind of similar to the bread that we made in our previous video. If you'd like to see that, I'll link it in the description. You're also going to need two tablespoons of golden ray butter or any type of cooking margarine. Now, with pepper bake, authentically, you got to use golden ray. It's the best cooking margarine to use for this recipe. But... If you can't find this golden rake cooking margarine, you can use any type that you'd like. It's just that this one has a very distinct flavor and it also has a certain color to it. As you can see, it's a little bit more yellow and it gives the pepper bake its authentic golden color, hence the name golden ray. You're also going to need one and a half tablespoons of normal butter. You're also going to need a quarter cup of warm milk. You'll then need the following ingredients. So you're going to need one teaspoon of lemon black pepper. Now you can use regular black pepper. We just honestly use lemon black pepper as a substitute. It's really great. And if you could find it in your local grocery store, it's really great. I'd recommend you trying it out. We're also going to need three cloves of crushed garlic, one tablespoon of salt, one grated hot pepper and one tablespoon of baking powder. Now the one grated hot pepper that we're using is going to make this pepper bake quite mild but if you do like your spice you can add much more pepper to it. We just want to make sure that it's not too spicy for us. You're also going to need one can of coconut milk as well. Uh, we use the Cool Runnings brand, but you can get any coconut milk that you can find in your local grocery store. Usually you just need a full can of that. Okay, so we're going to put our dough together. So we're going to take our flour and add one tablespoon of baking powder to that. We're also adding one tablespoon of salt. We're then adding our one teaspoon of lemon pepper or black pepper if you don't have that on hand. Your three cloves of ground garlic. Your one ground hot pepper. And of course the mixed dried seasoning or whatever seasoning that you decide to use. Now we are using our hands to just mix this together. We just find that it makes it get mixed together more seamlessly. So then we're also adding in the two tablespoons of golden ray butter and then we're just going to work this in as well. So you'll notice that with the golden ray butter it's not changing the color yet but once the dough starts to come together you'll notice that the color is going to start to change to a very bright yellow. You're also going to add your one and a half tablespoons of normal butter and we're just mixing that in, making sure that everything is mixed together nicely before we start building the dough together. Okay, so now our flour is ready to make into a dough. So we're going to add in some of that coconut milk. Now you can see here that it's starting to clump together, which is exactly what we want to build our dough together. But you're going to keep adding this coconut milk gradually just so that you're not over adding it. And that way it's coming together nicely without too much being added at a time. And we used one full can of coconut milk. It depends on if you're scaling down the ingredients, how much is going to be needed. But for us, a whole can was required. Now we are just adding the remaining coconut milk and working that in. Okay. 
Okay, so now you'll want to continue kneading this for about 5 minutes just until everything is come together nicely and binded so that you can work with it further. Now I know it's a little bit sticky right now, so once you start to notice that a lot of it is still sticking to your hands, you can just add some flour to reduce that stickiness and it's just going to make everything bind together quite nicely. Okay, now I know we've already added our coconut milk, but we're going to start splashing in some of that warm milk as well. Now, basically the warm milk is kind of a substitute to using water. You've, if you notice in our previous videos, we used a lot of water to build our doughs together. But in this one, we want to make it really rich, so we're using milk to do so. Then you're going to let this sit for about 15 minutes. Alright, so after 15 minutes, you'll want to flour a clean surface and then put your dough down. So you can see here that it's risen slightly, but because we're not using yeast in this recipe, it's not going to be that high rising and we don't want it to be. So we're just taking that flour and as you can see, it's not sticking to our hands because of it and we're just stretching that out. You're then going to take your rolling pin and just stretch it out further. Now, the shape doesn't really matter too much. It doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, so once you have the shape that you'd like for your pepper bake, because you don't have to have it round like this, you can have it any way that you'd like. But that's why we stretched it out just to fit on this pan. We are also lining our baking pan with some parchment paper just to make sure that this doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. And we're just making sure that all the edges are evenly placed before we put our final touches on it. Alright, so once you have the shape to your liking, you can take more of your cooking margarine or in our case the golden ray cooking margarine and we're just adding that straight on top. Now this is just going to give it a really nice golden color and it's also going to make it even more flavorful. And now our final step before putting it into the oven, you're going to take a fork or any other tool and just poke some holes into it. You can make a design if you'd like on them as well. Um, we're just poking these holes to ensure that it cooks faster because it tends to be a very dense pepper bake. So you want to make sure that everything is cooked on the inside. You're then going to bake this for 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes or until golden brown on the top. Okay, and this is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. Now on camera, it's showing up a little lighter than expected, but I promise you it's a nice golden brown. So let's plate this up. All right, and this is how we plate it up. Now we cut our pepper bake normally like a pizza, so it's in nice triangular slices. So we plated this up with one of them having some butter as well as some ham in the middle. You can see we cut straight down the center and that's how we usually have it with any other condiments that we'd like to add to it. We also did one with cheese at the bottom as well which is super delicious and definitely my favorite. You could see on the inside you could see all of the seasoning on there and it's super soft, a little bit dense but it's really good that if you need a filler meal on the go. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to comment down below what you thought of this video and other videos on our channel. And also, don't forget that everything that we do list in our videos is going to be in the description box. So make sure to check that out as well as all of our social media pages. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and thanks for watching. Bye.